Welcome back to Robert Lawyer, where I give you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. Today, people, today, we are putting together a shoe mock-up, and in this mock-up, I'm going to cut it out the background, and then I'm going to cut out its different parts to make a global and then fully customizable mock-up that you can put together just pretty much on the fly. So if you guys like this tutorial today, go ahead and like and hit the subscribe button and all that stuff. That will definitely help me out. Definitely let me know in the comment section below anything that you have a problem with and then I will meet you in Photoshop. Let's go. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab a picture and then cut the shoe out of the background with the pen tool. Now this actually takes some time to do and it's going to be a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about stealing pictures and actually getting pictures off the internet. Now, stealing pictures is against the law and you can really get into a lot of trouble, especially if you're doing this for a client. So what you want to do is either take a picture or get it royalty free here out of Commons. The place that I use is Pexels. Pexels is amazing. You'll find a lot of good pictures. They actually put it on the website that you can actually use this stuff for commercial work and all that type of thing. So you're pretty much good to go with Pexels. So once you actually get the image selected, all you have to do is make a mask to get it out the background. This is what us designers call non-destructive work. You need to work this way. It's very smart. Now it's time to make some smart global changes, okay? So the first one that we do is gonna be a new layer. You're gonna have to color it, whatever. I chose black. Then turn it into a smart object. Drop the opacity so you can see what's going on below the layer. Now here's a neat trick that I like to do all the time. Instead of making another selection of the shoe, you can use the original mask selection by holding Alt and then clicking anywhere on that mask to create another copy of that selection that you can use on another mask to make that shape again. So good, you got that done. Now what you want to do is go in and make selections of different elements with the pen tool to make this shoe fully customizable. Once again, this can become a very time consuming project to lighten that load just a little bit. What you should do is make a copy of the original masked out layer of the shoe and then group it all by itself and then use that rough pin selection to make an actual selection and then put that group into a mask. I know it sounds confusing at first, but this step is going to be repeated throughout the entire shoe. So you get a lot of practice with just one shoe. Trust me. So after you got all that done, the next step is just to make a reflection, which is super simple. You just take all of that, you group it together, and then you duplicate it. Okay, and then from there, you transform it down onto a tilt, and then you make a mask. Now with this mask, what I usually do is I take the gradient tool, and I kind of mask it out. So there's a gradient black to white. And this is how you pretty much get that cool faded reflection that they use on like iPhones and stuff like that. So at this point, the background would be helpful. It'll make that fade stand out a little bit more. So if you noticed, I've been saying fully customizable throughout this entire video. At this point, this is where you do it. So what you want to do is go through the groups and then find those smart objects that I told you to make at the beginning of the video. Just hit Command J on them to make a copy and then take the copy and put it at the very top of the layers panel. At this point, you can drop the fill and the opacity of those copied layers and change the name of them just so you know what's actually happening. And then when you double click on them on that smart object, it'll take you to a PSB where you can then change the color and it will reflect back on the mockup as soon as you save it. Make sure you go through and name all of your layers appropriately at this point in time. Now this shoe mockup is pretty much almost ready. All you have to do is kind of position it correctly. What I usually do is I throw my elements off to the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is pretty much good for that. So you can just put things off on one side and the other side you can put like text or logos and all that. Now the final step of this is the realistic aspect of the mockup. All you have to do is make a shadow on the flooring. Now the flooring is kind of simple. All you have to do is make a selection color it in and then gradient mask it down. 
The shadow, however, is just a little bit more complicated. All you have to do is make a circle, fill the circle, blur it, and then repeat. Basically, what you're doing is making dimensions to that shadow. Once you're done with that, mask it to your liking, and then you're pretty much done. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I'm also letting this mock-up go for free on my website at robertloyal.com. So definitely check that out right there. And that's pretty much it. So you guys, stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.